Rogue Tower is a roguelike tower defense, hence the name. It is not an early access, although I will say I feel like it's a game that could use it. There are, uh, it doesn't feel like a very finished game, personally. I've noticed a lot of my peers have been picking this up and playing it, uh, and they've been enjoying it. It is an enjoyable game, despite its flaws, right? Uh, and some of the flaws are fairly glaring. Like, for example, when I click on this, I notice that it's it's not quite visible or legible. It's because the <laughs> clicking on something to see its character sheet uh, actually zooms in with the UI. So if I'm out here, let's say if I, my map gets super big and I want to be like, okay, let me go click on this one, do some upgrades, click on this one, do some upgrades, I can't. It's kind of annoying. So like little weird things like that, inconsistencies in just like text size, uh, uh, all kinds of things. It's just, it, I feel like there's just a lot of polish that's needed in this. Uh, that being said, it's still kind of fun. There is just a huge lull in early game, which is why I am uh, starting this at level 22. I don't know how much, how many more waves we're gonna get. Maybe a one or two waves. Uh, then you'll, then I'll have like a ton of XP. I could, so I'm gonna explain the whole process uh, with like upgrades and account wide upgrades and, and tower upgrades and all that. And then we'll start a new game. We'll probably skip the first handful of levels because they're boring as fuck. Uh, and then we'll go from there. So uh, let's go ahead and spawn the next one. I have 26,000, 2,600 gold uh, with a score of 253. I believe that score translates into direct XP. So it's like a one to one. One, I believe. Plus, I get bonus on top of that. So it's gonna be a fat amount of XP I'm gonna get from this. And we'll be able to unlock a bunch of shit and then come back in and then probably zoom through the first handful of levels or waves uh, a little more quickly because you know of the upgrades. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on one of these. I uh, click on a handful of these to do some upgrading. Maybe my mana is 18. I get 18 per second, uh, but I'm spending it a lot because I have a lot of mana using towers, right? Flamethrowers. I have these ice towers that just spawn like snow. Uh, characters hit the snow. That actually hit the snow. It's Itself. It's not like a not like a radiating uh, ability that anything comes within the zone. It actually spawns a bunch of snow, and they have to actually hit the snow in order to slow down and take damage. Um, which is why I have so many of them. It basically creates a cloud here. Uh, but I don't want to put anything any more frost towers down because of the lack of uh, mana. So, and I have no more things to put mana siphons on. These are mana generators right here, uh, mana crystal, and I have these mana siphons here. Uh, and I'm, I'm full. I have every single one of these blue things is taken. So, <laughs> so I feel like I'm getting towards the end of the run, which is why I wanted to start this video now. Uh, let's go ahead and throw some, uh, let's just go ahead and throw some more mortars in. Those things do a lot of damage. I will put them kind of strategically. Um, I got a lot of money, so I kind of just go bow, 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 pretty much wherever I want. Um, over here is pretty good. And then maybe another one over here. Maybe on top of this guy. Look at that. That's pretty good. Um, so... Let's go ahead and start, and then what I'll do is I'll explain from uh, once we get things moving. Uh, I trigger the next wave. There's no pause. There's no speed increase, which is one of the reasons why this game drags. Um, so what we'll do is we're going to expand this way, and this is one of the um, one of the unique parts of Rogue Tower versus other tower defense and roguelike games uh, is that you basically create your path. You know, I, I could all these splits and everything that happened. It's it's all been like I, I'm pushing outwards uh, and choosing the path that I want them to come down. Let's go and zoom in here and we can see how this cloud effect works. You see, there's a lot of a lot of action going on in here. Uh, this is if you play any tower defense, you know that this is essentially what you do. You build like a choke point where you just wreck face uh, and then you try to try to chip away at them as they as they, you know, coming in. Um, I can ooh, we've got some fast boys over here. My dudes will get him. My dudes will get him, right? You gotta, gotta get him. You got him right there. You go, there you go, there you go. Level up, bam. So, character progress or tower progression is actually really cool because they earn XP by doing one of the different types of damage, whether they're doing damage to health, to armor, or to shield, and they'll gain XP based off of that. And what that it's, it's not necessarily XP where it just straight up levels you levels you up. It does do that. It what it does is it basically makes upgrading cheaper. So if I look at this high health damage, oh, it was at three. So if I wanted to, I could tick this thing over to level 11 by spending the three. But now that it's ticked over, we're at the top of 11 here. I had to spend 318 in order to get it, get that uh, next uh, health upgrade multiplier. See the health multiplier here. Multi uh, there's an armor multiplier, shield multiplier. Uh, well, this guy's zoom in. You got him though. You got him though. You got him though. Bam. Yeah, this is this is getting way easy. We may actually not even do another run if this lasts forever, honestly, because because <laughs> I don't feel like playing another match. I have to sit for fucking ten minutes. 
<laughs> I've already done two matches this morning, just kind of getting ready to record this, and I've done a bunch of matches prior to this. I've got about four hours into the game, um, so I, <laughs> I just, I just, I'm ready to move on to the next title. I'm getting kind of itchy, so it's time to move on. Um, and like I said, I just don't want to do the first part. It's not like it's not like uh, uh, Vampire um, uh, Survivors, where you are, uh, where you kind of drags at the beginning, but then it very quickly picks up, right? This one, it just, it's just, you basically watch them walk. You're watching them walk forever to get to this pit of doom that you've created. <laughs> it just takes forever sometimes. Let's go and raise the shield damage up here. All these guys, see this is cheap, super cheap. Let's raise them up, 70, 52. See, it's an easy way to toggle a bunch of them over. And I probably paid like mm, 600 or something there, much all these, probably less than that actually, probably like 500. Um, to upgrade every single one of these up one, one, one level, and that's cheap because they it's earned it's earned its way through most of those levels uh, by doing damage. So I really like that that part. That part I really, really, truly enjoy. The soundtrack is rocking, as you can hear. What's funny is uh, the soundtrack, the the the, the drums. It sounds. <laughs> Uh, it sounds like this VST I used to use. It's a virtual synth um, that basically simulated drum sounds. I used it for uh, 201X and 201Y on the negative pH albums that we did. Um, and the drums in that one are almost identical to the ones I'm hearing here in terms of like the default drum sound. Um, uh, not default, but like one of the drum sets. Uh, it was called aggressive drums or something. Uh, is it aggressive drums or... Uh, something like that. Anyways, it comes with a bunch of patterns that you could use, like fills and everything, and I'm recognizing some of the fills. And it could just be, you know what, uh, you know, it's just a metal drum, you know, just a little double kick and everything, maybe it all sounds the same, but I don't think so. <laughs> I have a feeling this game was created when using that VST and using those, uh, those templates, because that's what I hear. <laughs> and, and it's, it's, I've heard that, that, those drum loops, god, for so long. I use the same drum synth for uh, forever, so those samples, so those uh, templates have been there. Oh god, did someone get in? Wow, we finally took damage. Holy crap. Holy crap. This right here, yeah, here we go, little Trojan horse. Bam, they're out. All right. So these pop-ups here, this is the roguelike part of it, right? Now, when you first start off, it's, it's, and this is why I think that it, the game really would have benefited from being early access because when I look at stuff like this and I see that it's released, it's like, well, fuck, is this ever going to get fixed? You know, like at least early access, I could, I could go ahead and say, ah, you know, but it's early access, so maybe it'll get fixed. Um, but when you first start playing, so when you go pick up this game and you start playing, you're going to be presented, I think, with like three options. And what happens is, you know, in six, these six options I have, I ha I would pick up probably two different towers every like couple of levels right now because I dump points into the, in the ability to unlock to have this many options but when you first start out you get like three options um, and 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 because you only have so many options you have a f fewer chances to get different towers right so you end up playing your first like two and a half hours using nothing but ballistas and, and that's where the game was like, oh my god. Not until the past probably hour, an hour and a half of gameplay, uh, of my four hours, um, did I finally start to get consistently more options. And it's only because I've I've unlocked the ability to have more options. So I'm going to show you guys, once we're done with this, how to kind of streamline that and maybe get to the point where you're getting, given more options. So that way the game doesn't feel quite as stale to you. And I realize I'm like, I feel, it feels like I'm under, uh, I'm like, I'm, I'm just beating up this game, but I mean, <laughs> it's got, it's got issues and you know, you gotta know this where you get into it. But right now the game plays a lot better than it did when I first started, like a million times better. So I got another tower here, right? Tesla coil, but I don't have the mana to, to support it. Um, if I put another thing out there to support that eats up mana, I'm not gonna, these towers are gonna be ineffective and then they're gonna walk right through it. So I have to be really careful with this. Um, my best bet is probably area of effect for mortars. Um, because uh, even this, I mean, that's cool and everything, but yeah, like I said, it uses mana. There is, there are some upgrades that come up that uh, will just flat out give you like a three, three mana per second increase. Aha! We got it. We need this so bad. <laughs> I've been waiting for another one of those. Can I get a uh, stupid grave? Rip. Yep. <laughs> 
I didn't know if I was gonna get any more of, this, more of those. So the first 15 levels, you get uh, you get just kind of just, you know grasslands, right? And then uh, once you get once you uh, beat a boss at level 15, then it unlocks the next stage, which is all cemetery stuff. And you get these ghouls or ghosts or whatever that are walking around that have shields on, right? You can see they have shields. These guys have armor, okay? So armor is the, well, okay, well, I have a couple towers that are designed to aim directly at uh, high armor targets. Like this, uh, this guy here, I think. Yeah, most, so uh, this guy's mostly shield. So whenever he, he's, um, whenever, whenever there's a, a target in range that has a range that has a lot of shield, this guy will target it. These guys are getting through, man. Just trip me out here, come on. These guys just have to progress. So they're gonna, this one right here is gonna target whatever's in, in the lead. Yo, okay, damn. All right, let's. Uh, I got money. Let's go ahead and throw some, some shit in here, huh? Hook these guys up, man. Level eleven. Okay, let's get these guys bumped too. Damn, they need some health damage. For real, all these guys. Health damage. That's expensive. Damn, it's expensive. Health damage. Health damage. We need mana. Is what we really, truly, 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 truly need is mana. Okay, shield damage. See, that one's pretty cheap. Nine. Shield damage, also cheap. Uh, health damage. Oh, this is the boss here. Oh, God. Zombie Oogie. Oh, crap. I might be screwed here. If he gets through. I don't know how much damage he's going to end up doing when he gets through, but he has a lot of shield, and I don't have a whole lot of things that could beat up shield. Because shield damage, boom, boom, boom. Shield damage, boom, boom, boom. Let me see. Flame throw is about to get. Oh, no, hold on a sec. Let's go somewhere where there's not. Um, let's see if he makes it through. If he makes it through there, then I'm going to start dumping points into. Uh, Ooh, man. Oh, my God. He's going to make it through because this is all my damage right here. Oh, my God. Roast him, please. Roast him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> roast him. Come on. <laughs> so close. Zombie Oogie. Oh, man. Okay, so now he's free to walk. And he does not have a lot of health left, but still, he does have some. Let's go and pop these guys up a little bit. Give him a little bit of a boost. Okay, now he's on a nothing but health. Nothing but health. Y'all got this. Y'all got this. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, who these fucking, who these fucking little dudes? No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, jeez. You gonna get him? Nope. Okay. Okay, that was painful. Please get this guy. Please get this guy. Oh, there's a couple guys behind him. Oh, man. Get this dude. 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 Because he drops loot, too. He drops loot. Yeah, we got him. We got him. We got him. There it is right there. Bam. Oogie Sleepy. That's right. One, two, three. And we still survive another day. Treasure open. All mortars gain plus one damage to Arter. Oh, oh yeah, we might as well do that one because we can't afford the mana. Uh, let's see this one. Uh, mortars gain plus two damage to armor. Increase okay. The other one was bleeding or something, burning. Frost. Oh god, see a Tesla coil. I mean, this is great. This is like giving me more, uh, just more like card options to unlock. Wow, we made it to level twenty-five. Holy crap! Fourteen hundred. Well, we're we're past the boss, but I feel like this is now. Now we're gonna get the next um, biome here. This is the farthest I've been. So, oh yeah, next biome for sure. Music change. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Finally. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. We get there's there's different song for each uh before each mini boss, right? Each encounter um sequence. So when you start to level uh, when you start all the way to level 15, you fight Oogie, and then level 15, you get the, all the all the ghost guys and everything, the cemetery uh the biomes, and then you fight zombie Oogie, apparently, and now we have like castles, so we're gonna fight like Bowser Oogie or something after this. Look at my mana. My mana is just getting just just shit on right now. Our best bet is just to do as much damage as we can with current current items. Make them more effective and efficient. Fourteen. No pause, like I said. So you're you're <laughs> once the ball's rolling, <laughs> you kind of got to start stepping up. Start clicking. Let's adjust some priorities here also. Let's see who gets through. And then we'll make some adjustments to priorities. Alright, so we have a health bro getting through here. I bet he has shields at the beginning or something or armor. No, this is straight up health. Just lots of health. Hmm. Oh god. That was a little bit of a whiff there. Okay, zap, zap, zap. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Hmm, you can make it all the way down here, huh? Something to note also, no, see that I have these uh, towers back here, kind of a funky spot surrounded by buildings. Oh shit, that's gonna be the end right there. One, two, three. Oh! So if you park a building 
if you park a tower next to a building, then you get um, uh, then you get a bonus. Yeah, actually, you can see this here. So the house is protected by two towers. It's next gift will be 54 gold. Net, net gold gifted 702. So what I do is at the beginning, there's basically stacked towers here. Because every time you put it down a tower, it costs an additional... Uh, can I keep on going? <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> what the hell? Is it going to let me just like demolish this guy or demolish this guy? Um, let me see what happens here. Hold on. Can I just, uh, just keep putting towers down? Sure. Okay. Weird. I can't expand or anything, so we're pretty much done. But we can at least review everything. Um, but yes, yeah, so you can put down towers, and it'll 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 update on the next go, and then it'll you'll get money. Uh, that's a quick way to earn money initially. And then what you could do is you can turn on you can sell your towers for the cost that you put them down for, but you do not get the money back that you paid for your upgrades. So something to keep in mind. So you could put some stuff down just to break break in some money initially, and then sell them and move them somewhere else. So long as you didn't necessarily need them to be as up, you know. Or have any upgrades or anything. All right, going back. Pretty good run, pretty good run. Now we go to upgrades, and then we see upgrade cards. So over here, uh, see, unlock 30 more cards, unlock 15 more cards, and this just gives you, when it says unlock more cards, it means these guys over here, these are all upgrades. This is a lot of upgrades that you could get. Um, and then each one you tag, you know, it says radar, calls in a biplane to form airstrikes from afar. Like, there's a lot of towers you can pick up that are pretty dope. Um, it's just a matter of getting the, 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 getting your probability up for the cards that will allow you to add them. I need to get something, something to, um, to increase my mana, uh, generation, because my mana generation is balls right now. Uh, but if I unlock things over here, I don't believe they count. Let's see. Let me see. Uh, over here. Sorry, over here. So, like, it says unlock 30, right? Um, but if I go over here, mana capacity, increase the mana capacity by 20. Does that count? Yeah, it doesn't count, see? So these are all, yeah, I, all the yellow cards are the ones, yellow card, all the ones that I would, uh, need in order to unlock more items up here. So let's see, um... So the more things I unlock, like let's say Mana Bank and then Haunter House and University, you're just increasing the size of your deck. And if you've ever played any deck builder, you know that eventually it becomes so convoluted with just shit that you don't need that your deck just loses all, you know, streamline um, uh, all of its efficiency. And so now you kind of, it's like, okay, well, do I want to unlock more things over here? <laughs> or do I want to maybe, you know, not, I guess, and just maybe focus on, on, you know, card updates here, as far as I could go anyways. Um, so that's kind of the problem, one of the problems that I see with this. Now, there's a reset XP button up here, but from what I understand, it literally erases your account. So don't think, it's not like uh, uh, Vampire Survivors or any other game. This is a huge miss, in my opinion. Huge, 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 huge miss, right? It's punishing to, to just wipe the account. Absolutely punishing to wipe the account. It should be a straight up reset so that people can reconfigure their points. Because when you first get in, you start spending points. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. And then by the time you get too deep, you're like, man, what the fuck? And also, when you come to, when you get the revelation like I did, that the more things I unlock, the more convoluted my deck is, you don't want to unlock those things. You see? So, please, 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 please. Reset XP should just reset the XP and give it back to me to spend. Um, so... Something that may, ho hopefully something has changed very quickly. Because <laughs> it's really annoying. Um, let me see. I'm going to go ahead and just unlock a couple of these things. Uh, we're not really going to do, we're not going to do another run. Because I don't, I don't honestly don't feel like doing it. Um, but <laughs> I can at least unlock some of those. Enough to pop open. Let me see. Uh, treasury, extra gold. There's gold. Uh, done. Here we go. Drops all extra gold when they die. I like that one a lot. Just I feel like I'm investing my future that way. Uh, let's see, so begin the game, boom, 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 lots of treasury, look at this, you can start with a fuck ton of gold, so one, two, three, I mean, it was a ten, so an additional thousand gold, starting off, mana capacity, mana capacity, mana capacity, mana generation is really the problem that we have, um, so yeah, we go to, then when you go to start a new game, you can play, and you have, you know, single, double, or triple defense, let's do a triple defense, this won't take too long, um, and you set records in each one. You get bonuses when you set the records. You get bonuses when you, you do well. Uh, so here we go. We have three three buildings, or two buildings that we can uh, uh, make some money off of. So we're gonna do this. One, two, and three. And that'll be enough to get started. We'll go and expand. And then the first guy's down. Boom, done. Expand. Second guy's down. Oh, 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 oh. Good. You see how it's already starting to drag? But listen, normally you would not get this right now. I have an unlock that will give me a pick every two levels instead of like four or five or whatever it is. So I would, you see how long it took for that dude to come around the corner? If you're just starting out, you're waiting. 
And you're going to do that again and again and again until you get up enough of a uh, an arsenal to, uh, to, to start, um, I guess, start spread out a little bit. So you can start taking these guys out before they get close to you. Ay, ay, ay. Let's see. Increase the town's main health. Let me see. Increase maximum poison. Let's sure just do poison. Um, I don't think I have anything to, to actually spread that poison, but sure. Let me see. We'll go and expand here. These guys are just getting sniped right away. Cool. Get them, get them, get them, get them, get them. I want to make some money off these guys here, so. We gotta expand this one out. Good. Uh, these guys can get through. No, no. Zap, zap, zap. Oh, so close. Let me see. Sorcery plus three. Oh, God. Look at the tower right here already. Oh, mortar. Oh, God. I see there's so many things. Um, let's go ahead and do. Let's go ahead and do mana ballistas. Mana bolts. And then we're just going to do this. We'll pop watch these guys up on hills here. We get the X bonus range from that. And then let's go ahead and expand another one here. We can always remove these later. Just to thin the herd before it gets close. And then we can hopefully snipe them with our dudes up front, right? Nah, not really. <laughs> I'm obviously not spending, I'm not spending all my money, so we're not really like pushing too hard on this. We're just trying to get through, see how quickly we can get to uh, level 15. Or die, you know, one of the two. Would have set a bunch of these up. And like I said, I can always remove them. Y'all gonna aim that shit? Come on. Uh, let me see. Uh, da, 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 increases, okay, enemies drop. Here, enemies drop plus two gold on death, but they also deal plus one damage. Let's do it. Banitry. Okay, why is that thing in the background opening up? Oh, because I guess I clicked on it, kind of. I click through to it. So yeah, these upgrades here will not transfer over when you upgrade. See, so demolish 180 gold. If I upgrade this, it does not go up. So keep that in mind. Let's go and expand again. The next wave in. There we go. That's plenty of range. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Should get another pick here. Thing. Nope, okay. We can get some money here though. Pop all these guys down. Let's do this. Uh, who's the most useless one? Uh, probably one of you guys. Let's sell you. Put you here. Make me some money. You're gonna get him. You're gonna get him. Yeah, we got him. We got him. We got him. All right, so we got a mortar, siphon. I uh, see frost keep. Uh, building mana, bank turn its mana through the magic of the magic market. Um, <laughs> um, let me see. Tower Frost Keep. Ooh, this is tough. This is really tough. Uh, let's go with the tower. Towers are just fun. And we can put down one of them right there. That's a huge range. And we'll do, we'll target, uh, well, we won't target anything just yet because we don't have anything to really focus on, I don't think. A couple, there's a couple armor dudes here. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and raise this up to uh, most armor. There we go. We got some guys over here too that have a lot of armor. They might be a problem. Another one down. Can we just burn them? Burn them, 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 Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Okay, you see this one over here just leveled up by itself? I do like that system. Another one just leveled up by itself. I like it. Okay, so this one over here is hurting. I feel like they could use another ballista. <laughs> Catapult, whatever. <laughs> Perfect. All right, let's go. 107 gold. See how we're getting paid for every, every time we start a new match? From these houses should probably kill some of these strays and put them next to the houses but well, we're just trying to make this a quick one we're just making this a quick one so i can uninstall and move on to the next game <laughs> but hey i got some i got some bonus xp actually it's pretty good for a quick round oh you know why because we're playing level three that's why three input um and then we go upgrades again and we can go through we can spend so I, I see potential on this, but it needs it needs a thorough thorough UI work. Uh, it needs um, you have to do something with the deck. Have to do something with the deck. You can't you can't build a, a, a you can't make a deck builder and not give us a way to like really thin out the herd a little bit. Unless it's built into the game and it's just not obvious. Like once you select, which doesn't feel like it is, but like once you select a frost tower, then you're gonna start getting a lot of frost tower upgrades, right? Which is which does happen, but. Um, I don't know. It's still, it's still, it's still, uh, uh, every pick is still filled with like other things I don't necessarily, I'm not specializing in. So I guess that's not really the case, but you know, uh, it's $14 and 99 cents. Uh, it's still, in my opinion, still pretty early in development, despite not being an early access, uh, but something to maybe keep an eye on, uh, rogue tower, a roguelike tower defense, not a bad title. Check it out. My name is Mike, the AK phony. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.